<laughs> Are we live? I think we're live. Can you hear us, Bill? <laughs> no, I don't even okay. see you. Let's see. I mean, but I don't we're see you yet. Figure this out. Yeah. We're live right now. So this is the Leslie and Bill show, but Bill's behind the camera. <laughs> Down a little bit. <laughs> there he is. And this is Nell. Hi. <laughs> so, um, why are we so dark? It says you were live still here right through. now. I think. Are we not live? We're live, right? Is this finished? <laughs> I haven't done a live in a while. Yep, this is live up there. Okay, sorry, people. We're, we're, we're learning the curve. We're in the learning curve. <laughs> we're triple vaxxed, just as the FYI, because I you can't talk with the mask. Sorry. You wouldn't be able to hear a word we're saying. Recently tested, we're all good. <laughs> all good. Okay, so Nell is here to talk about a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> exciting new project. Um, there's been a little group happening for the last, oh, I think we're up to like four years now. Every winter we get together, we're called the Society of Stitchers, and it's an, envir uh, an, sorry, an embroidery club. Uh, and it's about to happen again. It happens every winter. Oh. People start to get a little antsy, mm -hmm. as you might have noticed. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, craft store people must come in, or yarn store people must come in, and they get really like, yeah. I am dying for our project. Give me something to do. Definitely. Give me something to do. So we're about to give you something to do. If you want to join us with the Society of Stitchers, uh, again, this year, it's actually a pretty big group. I mean, we've had like 30, 40 people come out to the Oh, wow. Stitchers. It gets wild in there. And where do you guys usually meet? We, you know, this year we're going to meet in the Armory, in the okay. uh, studio of the Department of Illumination, which is on the lower level, the Mary Street ent entrance. If you come in through the main street, you go down to the lower level, uh, and you'll find us right at the end of the hall. But if you are coming, uh, in the past we've met at um, Benson Park outside, we've met at the Prince Edward County Learning Center, we've met at the House of Faulkner. So it's not like a regular meeting? No, well we do it's pick regular nights. So we'll be okay. meeting Mondays between 4 and 6, which is our Art Kitchen time. So if okay. you used to come to Art Kitchen, this is the same time period. And in fact, if you want to come and just draw or... It's, you know, at this time of year, it's so important to get together and just be social. Yep. So if you want to get together just and just have some... Do nothing. Watch, watch people get crafty. Just be a little help, <laughs> get some mental health work happening there. You're welcome to join us. Uh, but we're adding a second night. We're going to do Wednesday nights as well, between mm. 5 and 7, a little bit okay. later for some of the later crowds. Uh, and we're really excited because this year uh, we're actually working on a group project. Uh, a few years ago we worked on a group project called the Pride Flag, Prince Edward County Embroidered Pride Flag, which had oh. about 35 people produce little squares um, and we had the, um, it was on display at the 555 Brewery, brewery for uh, the last oh, year. Okay, so. great. This year we're going to work, uh, we're asking people to embroider an animal from the south shore, which is the southern shore of Prince Edward County, because there are, it's home to almost 50 um, endangered and at-risk species. 50? Yeah, I know. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that for a second. Okay. Yeah, they're almost all at the on their end of their days down there, actually. It's really Jeez, scary. What's hey. that saying about our... The water, I think. Yeah. There's something in the water. Uh, but, yeah. we, uh, so we're going to raise some awareness about all of those little creatures. Uh, and you will be given, if you want to join us, you, you will be given an embroidery kit, which includes your hoop and your image. Cute. Uh, all the thread will be there, and there'll be lots of embroidery experts to help you work on it. If you're not that comfortable being in a group yet, we're going to be masked because there's probably going to be a yep. lot of us. But yep. um, you can also just pick up one of these kits and work one of it at home. Oh, nice. And then this spring, we'll be quilting them all together uh, and displaying them as part of the brand <laughs> new. Bill's ears are perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be calling you for help at there that point. There you go. Um, because we're starting a new festival in Prince Edward County called the Wild Thing Festival. And it's on Victoria Day weekend, and it's uh, an International Biodiversity Ooh. Day. Yeah. So oh, very cool. all tied in. And so you start with the embroidery, and then you get to come to our big party and see the beautiful banner that we're going to quilt with wow. some embroidery, with some painting. Nice. Um, and uh, there's going to be a, a party. I mean, there's going to be music. There's going to be food. There's going to be um, a parade. So <laughs> you're going to want to. So who's that. doing the drawing onto the canvas or material? Yeah. So I did the drawings. Uh, and it's actually kind of been fun to do some research here. This little guy is a uh, Midland painted turtle. He's one of, he's definitely one of the at-risk species. Right. Um, and there's actually quite a few turtles down there that are almost at the end of their road. So there's wow. the wood turtle, of course, the very famous Landings turtle right. on the endangered species list. Um, 
there's so many birds that are very rare and beautiful birds, like stunning colored birds. Um, and yeah, we see a lot on the river at our house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. We're in a lov lovely little <laughs> ecosystem, my house, <laughs> on the so, river. Yeah, so this is all going to start really soon. You can go to the Department of Illumination if you want more information, which is just departmentillumination.com, or uh, message us through Facebook or Instagram on the Societies of Society of Stitchers on Facebook as well. Okay. Get all the details, and then you just start joining us. We'll be our first meetup is the when, uh, Wednesday, February 23rd, so after Family Day. Right. So Wednesday. Okay. And then, so, do you ever need donations of embroidery thread? You know, we'll take anything, but we also like to support <laughs> local business. So well, we yes. will be. I, I do sell embroidery thread. <laughs> <laughs> if you need, That's true. We will, we're providing the materials this time, so we will be making some materials. Okay. Oh, cool. right. um, but we also, of course, will need uh, if you if you want to make your own. And oh, we're also not telling you how to color this in. So if you want to <laughs> embroider this in like psychedelic material colors, or if you want to go real natural, do some research, then it looks it'll really look like you can do that. Right. In fact, that's up to you. You can interpret it any way you want. Oh, the other thing is at the workshops, we're inviting. So we're inviting the naturalists from the South Shore to come and talk yeah. to us about your animals, so you can learn a little bit about your animals. We also have some other textile artists coming to join us. So we have um, uh, someone who works in beadwork who's going to come, and maybe you can add some beads to your piece, yeah. just to kind of shake it up every week. So, so yeah. you'll get that some um, socialization. You'll get that mental health burst that you may be looking for. You'll get a project to work on. Fun. You might also walk away with a few extra skills. Yes, definitely. You can comment because it's live. You can actually ask us questions. We're really here with you right now. <laughs> That's why we're trying to do this live. But I. I see we haven't got any comments yet. <laughs> comments or questions. It's okay. No. It's really, but that's the project. Thanks so much for letting me Yeah, know. absolutely. That's so cool. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, and that's going to make, like, hopefully, you, are you going to make, like, a queen size? <laughs> well, it's a, what's, the, what's the end result plan, whatever you come yeah, up with? Yeah, whatever we come up with. So we're, we're aiming for about 25 pieces. Okay. The other thing, though, if we end up with even more than that, which, which might happen, and we also have some simpler designs if somebody is maybe not... Um, not experienced with embroidery or is feeling a little intimidated by a bigger project, uh, we you can be part of our communal pieces. So if you just want to stitch on a piece, uh, you only want to come one night or you're right. not sure if you can commit to coming every week or whatever, you can add to some of the projects that are already started. Uh, right. And then if we end up with more pieces, we're going to build some flags. We want to oh, cool. sort of have yeah, yeah. flags around the park. So yeah. we've got a plan. Um, and then what, what happens to the quilt when it's finished and completed? I don't know. Are you going to like... You know, raffle it off. Or <laughs> or well, hopefully, yeah. Wild Thing continues on for a while, and we can uh, use it over the years yeah, yeah, to promote yeah. the festival and use it in our parades and things. But um, I, you know, who knows where it ends up? And in fact, the pride flag I think is at the five by five still, but I should actually right? double check in where that ended up. Yeah, it was there <laughs> the the last time I looked. Flag? It was there, but that was yeah, yeah, before the <laughs> last right, yeah. all the fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, okay. there we go. We so, we, yeah, if anybody wants to donate um, with cotton fabrics, the mm -hmm. embroidery hoop probably too, because I mean, they, they do. Yeah, they we, go. But we all, you know, we love, you know, reusing and recycling. So, if you do have anything like that to donate, we'll always yes. take your donations. Because Department of Illumination is all about upcycle, upcycle, yes. <laughs> upcycle, upcycle. <laughs> Cool. Okay, thanks, Nell. Yeah, no, thanks for letting me talk to you. Awesome, and awesome. We'll it, um, it spread and spread. I will share this when I get it back home. Yeah, there you go. And we'll link and stuff. Put it on the it's show. It's there. It's there. <laughs> there's somebody watching. <laughs> I haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> oh, there's Heather. Okay, now they're coming on. Always the Okay, way. cool. Well, this will be on Facebook, and I'm actually going to try and load it to uh, over to our YouTube channel, too. So oh, we'll oh, cool. spread it around. What are you guys talking about next? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we never know. It's I brought a quilt. Oh, oh, this beautiful. Oh, Michelle's saying hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, All right. cool. Thanks, I'm going to step out. I think my, I've been keeping the chair warm long enough. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Bye, everyone. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Bill, you've got, you've got stuff. I have I've a leg. Oh, I was yes. trying to follow along with yes. this, but there was this leg. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty quilt? Come and, come and show the quilt. Okay, I'm going to show you the quilt. Because it's live, man. They're waiting. <laughs> it's live and they're waiting. There you are. This is part of a new, it's a new project that I have um, started. This is a baby quilt. It's my pattern. 
It's called For Baby and Me, and I designed it, and it's done with Double Disappearing Night Patch, but it's part of a thing I want to do, which I am going to call, it's not about the bits, and what I want to do is do baby quilts that are gender non-defining. Yes. Um, it really bothers me when people have gender reveal parties, and I think, how do you know you're done? You're just revealing what bits your baby has. So, <laughs> no matter what your child decides it's going to be when it grows up, oh, that's what he said, they have to sit down. I sit with no me. matter what your child decides, they are going to end up being, um, this book, and they can still carry it around and drag it around yeah. with them and enjoy it, because it will be... Because we're gender always having that problem with baby yarns. We're always trying to find like non-gender and, and nobody wants pink in anything and it's because it might be a boy and it's Yeah, uh, well then so uh, what? I love pink. Nothing wrong with pink. I love pink. Pink, pink and orange. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, I love pink and orange. These are gorgeous. So you're gonna try and make one new one a month. I'm gonna try to have one available for purchase a month. That's oh, how okay. I'm gonna pay my rent. I have a new studio. I've never had a studio before. But I'm going to have a studio in the Armory for a while, give it a try, with two other fabulous, fabulous friends who are also artsy. So mm, yeah. that'll be fun. It will. It will. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there and grab my samples. Can okay, I look yeah, up? even <laughs> smile and be beautiful. I see. Can I touch your eyes. So here she comes. Oh okay. my gosh. Everything's I pink. I got everything is pink. Pink and green. Pink. And green. Yep. So the dreaded <laughs> double knitting of the open close sign. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> Is it done? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's it's getting there. It, you, you can almost see that it's O P. God tell me that's an E. <laughs> and then the N. And then on the other side it'll be the closed words and just starting those letters. It's just Are it's sure? mind bending trying to get this. Every other stitch is the opposite side that you're working on. So yeah, the chart is just <laughs> wow. It's crazy, crazy. I don't think I have yeah, the chart with me. Yeah, I think me, that's but, very cool. But I'm I'm trying because my my open clothesline is nasty and plastic and got to have a pretty one. So I've been playing with knit collage. Oh crap! Figures. I'm in the middle of a row. You're never supposed to put knitting down in the middle of a row. So this one is growing and expanding. It's great too. So this is Nick Collage and Malabrigo Rasta. And I just was monkeying around because everybody wants the, the Nick Collage because it's gorgeous. It's expensive, but it's hand spun. There's little daisies in it. Like how cute. <laughs> and it's all hand done um, by a women's group in India, like a fair trade. trade. Yes. Yep. So they do all the, the combing, carding, dyeing uh, of everything. So yeah, there's little daisies all, all through this. So I'm hoping this will be, it's sort of crescent shaped, like one, it'll be like one long thing. I'm hoping I'll have enough. Um, I've already run out of this like colored one to make a big tassel so you, you can throw it around you over your oh, coat. Yeah. It's kind of the idea because it's, it's chunky. I mean, but it's, it's Nothing pretty. wrong with chunky. Nothing wrong with a little chunkiness. <laughs> and then we're working on a knit along um, with Ooh. Chic and Regal, who is a fairly new knit designer. Um, and it's so cute because I. What's the name? Chic and Regal. Yeah. Is that a person? No, well, oh, yeah, right. it is a person. <clears throat> it, I mean, that's not her name. Her name is um, Lania. Good, good, because I almost heard that I was going to be stuck with Bill, but apparently I could make an interesting name. She can Regal. There you go. So all her patterns um, give money towards animal rescue, and she's a fairly new designer, um, does mostly shawls and stuff, so there's a little wow. bit of um, mosaic knitting, sti like, it's just such a, it's brain candy. You just get to play and knit, and yeah, it's just yeah. so simple, the whole thing, and it just knits right along. It's lovely. So what I used is... Um, uh, I've got, these are my two colors. So the blue denim color is Luma, which is a wool and cotton. Man, the wool and cotton is the most fabulous feel. Like it's got that cool cotton, but it's softer, the, the wool. It is really soft. And then this is Ancient Arts on DK uh, Cezanne. Oh man, I don't remember the name of the color. I know it's Cezanne, one of his paintings, something, I think it has something about a window. Mm -hmm. Woman in a window? I don't know. I can't remember. Or am I thinking of the Netflix movie? <laughs> I don't know. Woman in a window watching a woman oh, yeah, across yeah, the yeah. street or something. 
That's apparently what I'm supposed to watch. It's supposed to be really funny. Uh, yeah, like dark humor, yeah. but yeah. But it's just very cool. And it yeah. is, it's just like this, you can watch it forever. Yeah, and it just, it's going fast. Like, I'm blasting through. I mean, obviously it's going to get longer as the stitches are growing, but. Um, so we're doing this as a knit-along. This one is called Lilacs and Marigold. Um, we're going to try and do a zoom when we get, I just, I wanted to get cer a certain distance into it before everybody else started. So I am going to try and put, is it tomorrow? Thursday? No. Today? Today's Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow's Thursday. My uh, watch I think I'm at work tomorrow. Yes. So I'm going to try and, um, post more combinations and stuff uh, and um, plan a Zoom thing so we can do a knit along. Okay, that's just going to ask. So is, it's Zoom when you do your knit along? We, yeah, we do Zoom knit alongs. And it's funny, so I, I posted a picture saying we're doing a knit along with um, Chic and Regal's pattern, uh, Lilacs and Marigolds. And she texts, I tagged her, and the designer, Chic and Regal, messaged me. She's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. She's <laughs> such an amazing, fun woman. So we ended up messaging back and forth on Instagram I don't know like almost a half an hour and she's all excited and then she sent me some patterns and she's like this is gonna be great and she said she'd come on the zoom with us oh very cool yeah yeah <laughs> so I'm like, that's awesome see there's an opportunity yeah and she's a native New Yorker and yeah she's pretty cool she's got a little rescue dog and he has his own Instagram page <laughs> Wiley no. Wiley something I forget what Wiley's what Instagram does, page does my he did once upon a time. He had his own Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Yes. My dogs have Facebook. Page. Milo the Magnificent Sir. So, so. Yeah. That was when he was a puppy. He's an old man now. <laughs> old men can have Facebook yes, pages. Yes, they can. <coughs> old wiener dogs, <coughs> not so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. He's too well, bored. Otis does. Does he still, yeah. do you still post on Otis's? No, page? I don't post very often, yeah. but people like him every now and then. Yeah. Well, her dog looks like kind of a chihuahua mix maybe with a Jack Russell sort of thing, but oh, super cute. And she's, she knits him up all these little sweaters and, <laughs> and, and collars and stuff. So he's oh, be, quite, quite stiffy on That'd be very Instagram. cool if she just showed up at your little knit along. I know, yeah. right? We can meet Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much so fun. Hey, Joan, from <clears> you. <throat> uh, Joan called earlier looking for her yarn. I gotta, I don't uh, know when I'm going to order it again. <laughs> There's so many orders coming through. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. And so... The yarn company, The Plucky Knitter, which is a Michigan-based yarn company, they're, they're at the beginning of becoming ancient art size, uh, Madeline Tosh, like they're really starting to grow. They've been only selling online um, and they now are finding yarn stores with, uh, that they want to um, collaborate with. Somebody picked me. <laughs> so we had a whole two hour meeting. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to try to organize it so I can showcase it when I go to Montreal Knit City in April 1st weekend. That's coming so up. Yeah, yeah. Very quickly. So they're actually going to ship me samples <clears> to take <throat> with me to help because they've been wanting to get into a big Canadian festival and well, I've already got the booth. So. And I think Facebook thinks you're taking me. Oh, do they? Because they keep telling me it's coming on <laughs> April 1st and it's a big event for me. I don't think we can fit you in. We're taking <laughs> no, Deanne's saying. pickup truck and Deanne oh, really? speaks French. and so Yeah, sorry. she's way more useful than I am. And <laughs> I I'm, know, I'm the, the knitter who doesn't fit furl. Balcony mm -hmm. much. I don't think you can fit. I need more space for yarn. <laughs> Maybe you should come with a second car. <laughs> big totes? Yeah, because, well, we've got bags and totes and stuff, but I know it's all the all the grid, like all the the backdrop and all the hooks oh, and all right, the structure right. that you create the booth and I have a booth and a half so it's I think it's like 10 six foot by two foot grids which you know stack up like they're huge and then it's like all the the weight of, the yarn oh down. yeah it's gonna be just put them on top it'll be good it's all good yeah I I mean how high can you how orange. high can you go in the back of a cab of <laughs> is it does it have a cap on the back is it open? no it's open and you can go up a I don't know. <laughs> keep going. Use going. those as signs. Oh, oh my God. We're going to build this structure. Eight feet high. Um, <laughs> Tim will have to fit. He's, oh, he's the packer. Tim. Oh, okay. <laughs> that you have to tell him that. Actually, I, I try to uh, just do it on my own. <laughs> yeah, I find sometimes it's better. Hey, Spouses Kim. don't know what. Uh, I know. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately, Larry gets really involved when he's reading things. So mm. I can just say, I told you. Yeah. Well, maybe you were reading. And yeah. yeah. He can't say anything yeah. because, 
Or I'll it wait until he is reading and then I'll mumble it. But. Yeah, I, it blows him away that he can talk to me when I'm reading and I don't hear a word. And he's like, how do you... Oh. I'm like, I am in. I can drop into a book like seconds and boom, I'm deep. Well, I you am see, that's, gone. that's when he has to tell you something. Right. Oh, let's be buying a new car. <laughs> or buying a new canoe. You mean like me telling him I bought a new horse? Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. No way. Didn't I tell No. <laughs> I haven't really put it up there in public. We should turn hey, this Vera. off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> this is what a midlife crisis looks like. It's an oh American God, paint. It's beautiful. He's got one blue eye and one brown eye. Well, that's creepy. But the rest <laughs> no, of it is it's not creepy. It He's beautiful. No, his his name <laughs> is Hooper. But I can't do it without saying Hooper. I think I might change it to Cooper. Just because. You just call him Hoop. I know, it, there, there's like a picture of him. He's got his blue eye just like boy. He's he's 14. Oh, he's, cute. Oh, he's, really? he's lovely. It's fun because he's he's a western horse. I'm an English rider. Um, I'm, he's years since I've had a horse. I, I'm very still much a newbie rider, but he's got some, he, I just got him the saddle for the first time on Friday with him because I bought him without riding him. My so mother was, was he? freaking. He was in the county. He really? was in a, he was, he was all by himself in a field like he's really bad for horses so he's quite underweight she's a lovely woman she just she loves him and she's 70 and she knew she needed to let him go but it was really hard so anyways he played for two days straight with the other horses oh god he was so happy <laughs> so i got home and oh, finally on friday and yeah he's he knows western tricks because we didn't all he was ever done is trail ride and uh, she got him for three years ago, and he's only ever trail ridden. She goes, I don't know if he's been in an arena. I haven't. She hasn't cantered him. Hasn't done. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, hey, Hooper, do you know how to back up? And he just stops, and his, I'm in on the saddle. I'm like, just saying that in a sentence, and he's like, stops and goes, chur, 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 chur. Oh, and I'm like, cool. holy crap! Oh, I want to wait. I want to get the outfit now. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Annie Oakley, here we come. <laughs> It's so funny because my first horse, yeah. Rocky, liked to jump. I wasn't keen on it, but we did it because he loves it. And then Oliver was a dressage horse and beautiful movements and, and spooky as hell. But yeah. Yeah. Lovely boy. That's why I let him go because fell too many times, tailbone, ribs. Yeah. <laughs> Won't talk about it. I didn't go to the hospital. I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> but You're yeah, so he we did all this dressage and now poop. Hooper, he's he's a Western boy, and I think he's got some mad skills. Cause English horses don't like backing up; they don't like pivoting. So when we did the back up, he's like muscled down and bum, 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 really fast. I'm like, whoa! And but every time you're standing on the ground in front of him, he wants to face you like you're a cow. So every time you go to the side to get on him, he's like turning to face you. What do you want? What do you want? What is happening? Where are yeah. you going? <laughs> I am. So then when I told him to pivot. You, you do this whole thing where they you're standing, you're stopped, and they're just supposed to swing their butt. Well, he just goes, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm like, okay, I know you don't pivot. It's like, yeah, all right, because he's yeah. used to cow tricking. Like, you got to move fast. And, uh, yeah, so he's I got once, mad skills. <laughs> I once rode a horse with my sister. I didn't once. I used to ride horses when I was <laughs> younger, when I wasn't 70. Because um, apparently now that I'm 70, I can't have a horse. Hmm. Um, anyway, I, it, it's barrel, a long way to the ground. Barrel racing, and this, I, oh, I ended up in a in a paddock no. with barrel on the and this horse that started the barrel race. No, oh, it was crazy. Oh my God, they my go sister fast. had to call him and make him stop because <laughs> he wouldn't. Well, luckily in an English riding stable, there are no barrels because yeah, 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 quite good. possibly good. he would be. He was gone. Yeah. I mean, it just. Yep, yep. They, they're hard to take. What they call the yeah, they get hot. When they get excited about something and barrel horses are intense. <laughs> yeah. I think that's probably why he ended up a trail horse because he's a lot he's what they call more low than go. So he's trots along, but he's not like full he doesn't have a lot of fire in him. He just does what you ask and then he stops. Like that's if I'm good. not telling him to go forward, he's just gonna stop. So. I highly recommend you to not have a horse with fire in no. it. No. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well that's kind yeah. of with, with Oliver. He had he he was perfect. He had the perfect amount, but he just would startle over nothing. He'd go past the tree three times, and then the fourth time, it'd be like, holy crap! Yeah, and it's like, yeah. oh, and then he'd go sideways, and I'd stay where I was, but on the ground. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if this horse sees different things through different colored eyes. I don't know, but somebody told me that um, he's a gelding. <laughs> if he was a stallion, when they have one blue and one brown, it means they have a certain genetic conformity that no matter who they mate with, um, they will throw a paint, like patches. 
Oh really? Yeah. So if you dot, if you put him with a black, you would get black and white. If you put him with a bay, you get bay and white, like chestnut, chestnut and white. And he actually has. I, she gave me. You get all this paperwork, and he has a family tree that goes back to the forties, like crazy. He has a famous great grandfather, Jetalito, Jetalito, and he's this famous paint horse that kind of started this whole trend in the 1970s. He did have 187 colts, that horse. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoa. Not me. So, <laughs> hey, nails on. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, talking horses. Horses and knitting, my passions. <laughs> there you go. And I just talk. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, and I'm, I'm wearing my, um, this This is my sweater. My sweater, sweater. You're welcome, Nell. <laughs> um, this is Andrew Mowry, this is the, I always want to overthrow, we're not overthrowing, we're throwing over, it's the throw over. This is all the color work it's supposed to have. I added the sleeves and I added a little bit on the bottom. Oh, right, and I got, I got to show my pants, Bill. Well, um. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, can you see the, I've been embroidering on these insane wide leg pants. It doesn't seem to. <laughs> <laughs> they are. You look at the back because the back's the best part. It's okay. I accidentally thought I was embroidering this front and I was embroidering the back of my pants. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do as a distracted. You did a fabulous everything. job in the back and then had to continue around to yeah. the front so yeah. that people would see it. I don't know. They're, they're, the, they're literally two, in, they're two feet there wide. They're the most insane bell bottoms ever. <laughs> people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> There you go. Yeah, they're a little distracting, these bell bottoms. When I bought them, I knew they were bell bottom itch, but I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, no, idea. that's bell bottom. This that's is like, bell bottom. This is like ABBA bell bottoms, <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing those ruffled pants or something. They're pretty fun. Well, you know, when I was a kid, now that was a long time ago, but <laughs> we used to cut out the seam. Yeah, and, and add put fabric. a big piece of fabric. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. coming. I think it should. I mean, you're a quilter. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> fabric, with, fabric with my new line of... Your baby, baby your your no bits quilt. Yeah, yeah. It's not about the bits. They all have bits. No, the bits not about, don't de define Not about them. the bits. Not about the bits. Not about the bits. It's about does, the what baby. Is that, what is the acronym for that? Oh, I don't know. Not about the bits. So, M A. No, I. It's not. I M. <laughs> a. Not about. T B. Well, that's a. It's not about bits. So when you're doing this, yeah. Write it down because we're both really bright people. <laughs> it's not a, about bits. And not about bits. It, in I in that in ab. I nab. I nab. No, it doesn't work. It's, oh, not, so it's about the baby, it. not the bits. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice tagline. But I kind of get a thing in there about it being gender non-defined as well. Yes. Yes. It, 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 you know, it's a very long title. Yes. But I'm hoping, as I say, you could get them to sign there. People, you my email, my Facebook page, my, my sure. Instagram. I up 150 people through the business. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're yeah. still about 400 higher than yes, me. Yes, but, but you're coming up the fast, gap is fast, closing, man. So. <laughs> yes, and just tell yeah. me, if you want one of my baby quilts, just let me know. Yeah. I mean, I. Man, because yeah, when when Quinn was born, I put him in everything was electric green and purple. He loved those colors. Yeah. I mean, hell, in high school, he dyed his hair that green. Of course, he was going as Joker for Halloween, but he decided to do it like in the summer ahead of time. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all the colors, and he had lime green glasses and stuff. So he still likes the green and the purple. The funky stuff. Well, that was fun. Yes, it I think was. We, we've been How long been? for a while. I don't know. <laughs> we were way too long last we're, time. We're like 30 minutes, I think. That's so. okay. That's we were perfect. way, 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 way. Yes. Yeah, way too long. I mean, I, would, I got yes. bored listening if you, to you. If you want to listen to us gabber on, um, we have a YouTube channel, Rosehaven yeah. Yarn. Uh, you can, we have what we're calling a podcast, so I'm going to try and post this and move it over to our YouTube channel as well, but we, uh, this would be technically episode six. There you are. It's the Leslie and Bill Bill's show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, and we'll see you in two weeks. Okay, bye.